Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Monogram International. This is Marvel's Series 5 Collector's Key Rings. Spots continued looks at the Monogram releases. These are now currently available at, at comic book stores if you're interested in picking these up for yourself. I've also found these at retail stores as well, so if you can't find a comic book store in your area, don't shed a tear. It's okay, fella. Don't shed a tear. You can find these still at local retail stores as well. I found some of these at Walmart, for example. Series 5 has quite a collection if you're a fan of Spider-Man. Basically, the entire wave is dedicated for Spider-Man. The back of the package shows us exactly what figures we're going to get inside. A black suit Spider-Man, Electro, Spider-Girl, Sandman, Craven, Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Rhino, Mysterio, and Exclusive A, and Exclusive B. Nice foil bag as well. To check out more from the folks over at Monogram, I don't know if you can see the address down there, www, I'll read it to you, www.monogramdirect.com. Head over there, check out some really cool stuff, some statues. Uh, bus. They also obviously produce a whole ton of collector's key rings. Some really fun stuff coming out from Monogram International. Inside it indicates as well, collect one, uh, contains one collector's key ring. So again, we're going to open up an entire case and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves an entire set over the course of this video. The only thing we're going to need is a knife. Let's reach off camera and grab Hank for this video review. I'm going to cut the the first one and let's see what we got in here okay the first one we this is a good way to start first one we get is doc ock now normally when it comes to the monogram international collector's key rings you know that the figures themselves are very close like capes and stuff like that are generally uh, attached to the body of the collector's key ring now this on the other hand is completely different as doc ock's arms are free to Menace and grab Spider-Man. A nice rubbery plastic on these. I guess they are rubber more so. This could not have been done justice, I think, by if they had sculpted all one piece for, for the arms as well. I think in this case, you'd have to have the arms as just free moving pieces. Granted, it might take up a little bit more space as a key ring to put this in your pocket with the arms. Really, really nice looking figure though. A uh, nice durable quality on these. Even like the arms, despite the fact that they are separate loose appendage appendages, they are a still a thicker, denser, this rubber material that they use. And then on the back, Marvel and China. And you've got your tried and true, very reliable keychain on the on the top. I've still got ones that are years old, and uh, the key ring still is fully intact, never have any issues with these. Good quality from Monogram International. We'll put that right over there. Actually, you know what? We'll put the wrappers over here. Key rings over here, wrappers over here. Get ourselves a little bit more organized. Let's open up bag number two. And this is from the Series 5 Marvel line. Uh, the next one we get is Electro. I guess this is more like an Ultimate Electro. I guess probably could be the same for all of these figures, except for possibly the Spider-Man and the Mysterio, and maybe Sandman. Mysterio has this, not Mysterio, Electro, I should say, has this really nice, almost glowing effect. It looks like uh, the plastic, or the material, I should say, that they use for the head is the same material they use for the rest of the body, and then they've just painted it differently, giving a nice smoked effect. Like, it looks like it's pulsating electricity. I feel like I shouldn't even be holding this for fear that I might get electrocuted. Don't worry, Spot's not going to get electrocuted. Very, very cool, though. I, I, I like Electro more so with the lightning bolt mask, but still, very, very nice. And let's grab another bag. I'm really excited to see how Mysterio and the Black Costume Spider-Man are going to turn out. What we got, though, in the next or third bag is another Electro. Oh, okay. There's two variations. That must be what exclusive, I guess exclusive B must be. There's regular Electro, and there is the exclusive Electro. You see how this one has that more frosted uh, uh, paint that's been uh, airbrushed on there, and this is just the regular one. 
This one that has a little bit more of the detail standing out, but like I, I like this one because it's it looks like it's glowing. And there's the backs of them right there. That actually worked out perfectly. I got it, I thought I was going to get the same electro, but no, sure enough, I got exclusive B electro, and I also got the regular released electro. We've already just just like that, just like that. We've already got one of the exclusives. Let's see if we can get the exclusive A. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's still a lot of cool figures in this release. The next one being Craven the Hunter. Craven looks like he's got um, himself a spear. And like the Doc Ock, this is a separate a separate piece sticking out, jetting out from his hands. Still has the furry collar and the lion vest there. It's remarkable how the fact that you get a, a very simplistic looking design character it really has no nose, and it's minimal on details. It still conveys exactly what character this is. Right off the bat, I would know that that's... Oh, look how cool the fur is on the back there. Right off the bat, I would know that that's Craven. Put that right over there. And let's see what we got in the next bag. Here we go, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We've got ourselves Black Costume Spider-Man. I don't know why. I don't know what happened when I was younger, but something happened where I just fell in love with the black costume Spider-Man. And ever since then, anytime there's a black costume Spider-Man release of anything, I always want to pick it up. And this one looks very, very cool. Not much in the way of color. No, I'll granted that, granted that. But it's a black, all black Spider-Man, essentially with white eyes, and then the white symbiote, or the white spider emblem on the front and the back. Simple, yes, but I would say, so far, probably contender for my favorite in this set. Still have a long way to go, though. There's still more to be looking at here. And the next one has... Reach, 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 reach. This is Spider-Girl. Oh, what an interesting pose that they've got her in as well. She's either swinging or giving a karate kick. Yaha! And she's got her pigtails going on at the top there. Again, that soft, rubbery material. I mentioned this before as well. Like with Monogram, you can tell quality because they actually doesn't look like they paint the pieces. Like it's not one mold and then you obviously just paint aspects to it. It looks like each color is its own corresponding piece. The trademark Pac-Man eyes also incorporated here to Spider-Girl. Neat looking pose though. It's like she's diving in the middle, just in air. Put her over there. Let's not have her wander too far off the next bag. Let's get this opened up. We have ourselves. I think it's Rhino. It is Rhino. Ultimate Rhino. Kind of like more the original classic Rhino myself, but there's Ultimate Rhino, complete with his Rhino horn. It's not prickly. So you, ow! Ooh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's, you're not going to hurt yourself. It's a nice soft rubber. It's kind of just uh, really two colors. It's the darker gray-black and then the gray with yellow eyes and white. I guess that technically, if you count the eyes and the mouth, that's four colors. But very effective nonetheless. And I'm just going to put him next to Black Costume Spider-Man. Okay, he's a little bit taller than Black, Cos Black Costume Spider-Man. Just a little bit. You can see the size difference between the two. Just by like a hair, just by a hair he's a little bit taller. If you count obviously the horn, he's a lot taller. The next bag, let's see what we got. Next bag, probably my second favorite. I, I could see this being my second favorite. We've got ourselves Mysterio. I don't know why I love Mysterio so much, but he's one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. I would love to see Mysterio in a future Spider-Man sequel, like a sequel to Homecoming. I would even keep the dome, as ridiculous as it might look in, in a movie. Just keep the dome. Just make him outlandishly crazy like this. Still has the eyes on his cape. Staple colors for Mysterio. The green, the light, well, the green, dark green, light green, and purple. And the big, giant fishbowl head. Love it. 
And actually, you know what? Now that we're looking on the back of it, we've yet to get any doubles. Ah, uh, see, look what I did. I said that. Now we're going to get doubles. But so far, we're pretty lucky. And you know how I always, generally I like to open all of these so that you guys can see per case what your odds would be to get each specific figure. So if you're interested, for example, in Craven, you can know so far based on my case that Craven is two per case. Well, obviously, there's still a lot more to go. We have to, I feel like we have to go through almost still another half of this, of this box. But so far, two Cravens. I hope we get two Black Costume Spider-Man, or you know, two or three of these. I got a friend of mine who absolutely loves Black Costume Spider-Man as well. I might even give him one if I get it if I get a second one. The next one is not Black Costume Spider-Man, however, it is Sandman, one of my other favorite villains from the Spider-Man Rogue Gallery. Best rogues, if you ask me in comics, Batman number one, Spider-Man number two. I mean, just the robust level of rogues that both those heroes have. I like that they've also given him a spiked mace as opposed to just human hands. Still the trademark striped sweater. Classic look for Sandman. Quite nice. Put him to the side. Let's open up the next bag. If you guys do enjoy these Monogram International uh, uncasings, let me know down below. I'll try to do more of these. We've got ourselves another flying, swinging Supergirl. Spider-Girl. See? I, I've said flying, so I just thought Supergirl. Swinging Super uh, Spider-Girl. Spider-Girl. So we get two of those. The next foil bag gives us... Oh, look at this one. This would be the other exclusives, though I guess this is Exclusive A, which is a somewhat frosted version. Let's hold up the other Spider-Man so you can see. A frosted version of Black Costume Spider-Man. Just to also correct myself, the back of the package calls it Black Suit Spider-Man. I just call it Black Costume Spider-Man, but it's the same idea, same idea. Just like that, we got both variants. Both variants were found in this set. That was the exclusive A, and then the the somewhat glow-in-the-dark Electro. I wonder if these do actually glow in the dark. You know what? Let's uh, test that theory. I'm just going to hold this guy up to the light. I don't suspect Spider-Man's going to glow in the dark, but I'm going to hold him against the light too. We'll just talk amongst ourselves for a second. Did you guys have a good weekend? Oh yeah, Timmy, what did you do this weekend? I know Mark's always on the go. He's out with friends. All right, you know what? Let's let's cut the lights. We'll see if this guy glows. We'll see at least if the Electro glows in the dark. I don't know if Spider-Man will, but let's cut the lights and find out. Though it's not completely pitch black, it does not look like either of them glow in the dark. It's just a more so a painted effect than anything else. So now that we know that, let's resume with our unbagging, uncasing of the Marvel Collector's Key Ring Series 5. The next one that we get is another Doc Ock. It is multiple arms. He's about the only, uh, or one of the only ultimate figures that I actually do like the designs of. We still don't have ourselves a Green Goblin. But we did get ourselves another, what is it, what is it? Another Mysterio. I don't know if it's intentional, but there's like a little curve, a little line on the dome. I wonder if this one has it. Well, this one doesn't really have it. It's its line is in the middle here, so probably just the way it was produced. Got two Mysterio. And the next bag, we have Another original, regular released Electro. Black costume. I guess the other one was a black costume as well. This one gives us... Nice! Gives us another black costume Spider-Man. One for me, one for me mate. Me mate, I'll give that to him. He'll owe me, like a life debt. That's okay. You don't have to pay me, pay me any sort of life debt. Unless I'm on the edge of a cliff 
and I'm about to slip, and then all of a sudden your hand comes down and grabs my arm and pulls me up. And then there's always that scene where I get to the top and I say, thanks, man, I owe you. And then he says, now we're squaresies. Now, now my life debt is paid off. So actually, maybe I should accept the life debt because I never know when I might need it. Next one we have is Rhino. So we've got a couple of Rhinos. All the villains are basically getting at least doubles. The only one that hasn't yet is Sandman. One of my least favorite designs, not from necessarily a key ring standpoint, but one of my least favorite designs from the Ultimates was the Green Goblin. I like masked Green Goblin more so. Not monster abomination Green Goblin. That's just me. That's my opinion. Uh, Scale-wise, let's put him against Black Costume Spider-Man. Yeah, he's a little bit taller. About the same height as... About the same height as Rhino here. Rhino might even just be a little bit taller on top of that. Okay, we got... Let's see how many bags we have left. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six bags left. Cut the foil on this bag. And we have another... Another green goblin. Nice. Put him over there. Cut another bag open. And even though I thought he was going to be the singular figure in this release, got ourselves yet another Sandman. So basically most of the villains, I think now we're, other than the exclusives, I think we've got two of every figure or every key ring with two Sandman, which I guess would not still be Sandmen because it's plural of a singular character. With that, we have another ultimate Green Goblin. Let's see if we can get a couple more black suited Spider-Man. If you ask me, you can never have enough of those. However, this one we did get was another Electro, regular Electro. Two more bags to go. Second last bag gives us. Gives us another Mysterio. Let's pull him out completely. There we go. This one doesn't have the lines on his dome. Just back a bit right there. And let's see what we got for the last bag. This is the final bag from the Monogram International Marvel's Collector Keyring Series 5. It actually doesn't say Series 5 on the box. Maybe it does on the side. But it does say it on the bag there. Series 5. The final bag gives us another black costumed Spider-Man. Or black suit Spider-Man. Take out a little bit of extra rubber there. Hmm, let me look here. Just looking at the ones that we've looked at. I feel like my favorite is obviously black costume Spider-Man. Mysterio. Let's try to do a top three. Top three, top three, top three. And I might say Sandman. Let me know down below who your three favorites are from this case release. We'll look at them quickly quickly in a second now. Uh, we have Black Costume Spider-Man. We also had the variant exclusive A Spider-Man, which is just basically a frosted version of this guy right here. We also received, in this case, a Mysterio. A Sandman, an Electro, and, oh, oh, where is he, where is he, right there. We only got one, but we got also an exclusive variant version of Electro here. We received a Craven the Hunter. A very cool Doc Ock with his moving separate arms. I would just do this all day. We also received a Ultimate Green Goblin. A Spider Girl. And I think there's. I think that's it. Oh, also. No, sorry, sorry. Also, Rhino. Can't forget Rhino. As mentioned, these guys are currently available in comic book stores, so you'd like to get your hands on these. I don't blame you. They're really cool collectibles. You can find these at your local comic book stores, and some retail stores stock these as well. Today's collectible spot, we were looking at an entire case of the Monogram International. This was the Marvel's Collector's Keyrings Series 5. 5. 
Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.